For men, ties are the easiest way to update your look and add interest to your wardrobe. Tie knots do change over time as fashion changes, but there are some knots that are here to stay, and the half Windsor is one of those. So the wide end should be to the right at least 12 inches longer than the narrow end on the left. Cross the wide end over the narrow end and around to the right. Take the wide end around and up through the loop and down the back, placing the wide end on the right with the inside facing out. Create a little loop with your fingers. Bring the wide end up through the back and down through the front of the loop. Tighten carefully, pinching the wide end under the knot and holding the back narrow side, sliding the tie up towards the neck. And that's the half Windsor. Start with the wide end, about 12 inches longer than the narrow end. It can actually be more than 12 inches, but it needs to be at least 12 inches. Most shirt collars work really well for this. Spread collar or a regular standard shirt collar works very well for this particular knot. The Half Windsor is a classic knot. It works really well for most men, but works particularly well with men who have a medium build. And it creates a symmetrical triangle shape. No matter what knot you choose, it should be tied so there's a dimple in the center of the tie just below the knot. Today we talked about the half Windsor, next time we're going to talk about the most distinguished knot, which is the Windsor.